everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the sixth episode of our Python tutorial series for beginners. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to trace the nested while loops in Python. These are more when we come back. Are still watching the coding channel okay so in this episode we are going to trace the uh, nested while loop with if l if with a break and continue and the else statements meaning i've incorporated all the topics that uh, we already have discussed from our previous episode because i believe that before you can create your uh, own uh, program from scratch or before you can solve um, the real world problem it's a very important that you know how to read codes you know how to execute uh, codes in your mind okay so uh this one uh this exercise will um, uh, help you to um every time that you encounter a problem for example especially the runtime um error uh, it's uh, very easy for you to debug because you know how it works okay so let's start now we will start our uh, program, I mean, uh, our tracing in line number one. And this one is an example of uh, an input statement. So, so for example, the uh, input is equal to two, okay? So what are we going to do? Uh, we will just uh, put a two there, uh, type the two there in our input uh, variable. Next line, uh, line number two, we have num equals row equals one. What does it mean? It only means that, uh, for num1, I mean for num and row, the value is 1. Okay, so we have num1 and then row 1. Okay, next. Line number 3, we now have a while loop. Okay, the outer while because we have an inner while here as you can see. Okay, so while row which is 1 less than or equal to the value of input which is 2 1 less than or equal to 2 true if it is true that's the time that we will execute the first statement inside of the outer while in line number four so we have an initialization we have call equals one so we will now initialize call one and then in line number five uh there is an inner while okay so let's test the value of call while call which is now one less than or equal to row which is one is one less than or equal to one true if it is true so we will execute the statement inside of the inner while in line number six so we have the output statement we have a print num the row and call so we, we now have the first output statement here. So the value of num is one, the value of row is one, and the value of call is also one. Then after printing, press the enter key. Okay, next, line number seven, we have an if, l if a statements here. Okay, so let's start line number seven. If call, which is one, is equal to two. Is one equal to two? false so we will not execute the break uh, statement we will proceed to l if l if is call is equal to three is call which is one equal to three false so we will not also execute the continue we will proceed to line number nine the assignment statement num plus equals one so this one uh, only means num is equal to num plus one so what's the current value of num one plus one so this will become now two and then call proceed to line number 10 call is equal to call plus one that's the meaning of this so we will add one to call now 
I'm sorry. So this one will become now two. Okay. Next, are we going to um, execute the else now? Of course, the answer is no. Take note. This else is a part of the uh, inner while. We will execute this. Take note. If you uh, remember that we will execute the else statement only if the condition of while is already false. At this time, the while condition, the inner while condition is not yet false. So we will continue to test. So we will go back to line number five to test the current value of call, which is now two. So call less than or equal to row, which is one. Is two less than or equal to one? False. Okay, so since this one is false, that's the right time that we will execute now the else statement. Okay, and then here, as you can see, we have a an output statement using the uh, str. We have a casting here. Okay, what's the purpose of str there? Uh, since we have a, an, an empty string in between of the um, variables, uh, which uh, happen to be an uh, all integers, so in order uh, for us to convert this temporarily to a string, so that's why we uh, always need to use the str, uh, this one, just to convert temporarily the, the variable num to string. Okay, so that's it. So we will print now the value of num. What's the value of num? We have now two. What's the value of row? We have one. What's the value, current value of call? We have two. Okay, then press the enter key. And then after that, we will execute the assignment statement or the increment in line number 13. We have a row is equal to row plus 1. So this will become now 2. Take note, we are still on the uh, inside of the outer loop. Okay, so this else statement in line number 14, we will e execute this again if the outer while is already false. But this time, the while is not yet false. So we will test, we will go up in line number three and test the current value of row, which is two. Is two less than or equal to two? True. Since true, we will uh, go back again. We will um, execute again the second time around. The uh, line number four, which is to initialize one again to call. So call will go back to its initial value, one. And then we will uh, proceed to line number five again. To test, is call less than or equal to row? Is one less than or equal to row, which is two? True. Since true, we will uh, print again the, va uh, the value of num in line number six. So num now is two, and the value of row is two, the value of call is one, and then press the enter key for a new line. Then test, is call, if call is equal to two, is call, is the current value of call equal to two? No, because the value, current value is one. Okay, so test again. L if call, is equal to three, false. So we will have to execute num plus equals one. So num, the value is two plus one is three. Okay, and then call, call plus equals one, meaning add one again, so this will become now two. And then we will go back to line number five. We are under uh, of an inner loop, so Let's test again the call. Is call, which is 2 now, less than or equal to row, which is 2? True. If it is true, so we will print again the value, the current value of num, which is 3. And then the current value of row, which is 2. And the current value of call, which is 2. And then press the enter key. And then we will test again in line number 7. If call, which is now 2, is equal to 2, true. So what are we going to do? We will execute the break. Okay, we will force to go out, to break out from, from where? From this while. Take note, we have a nested while. Are we going to break out of this two while? 
or only in uh, inner loop? I mean in inner while. The answer is, the answer is only in while. Now, I have a question. What will happen to else? Else is under the inner loop, the inner while. Are we going to execute the else since uh, we encounter already the break here? The answer is no. Why? It's because the condition is still true, right? Take note that we will execute the else statement if and only if the while condition is already false. Okay, so where are we going to do? Uh, where are we going to do now? To go to now, okay. We will go to uh, line number 13, okay? Take note, we are still under the uh, outer loop, a while loop. So we will increment the row to 1. So this will become now 3. And then let's go up in line number 3 again to test the current value of row. Row, which is now 3, less than or equal to 2, which is the uh, value of input, false. Since this one is false and this while, uh, has uh, an else statement so it's about time to execute now the else of the outer while okay and we are going to uh, print the sum of num plus row and call so we have num which is 3 plus the value of row which is 3 so we have now 6 plus the value of call which is 2 so we have 8 and then press the enter key and then after that, we're done with the uh, outer loop. We will now execute the output statement in line number 15. We, we now print num, the final value of num, which is 3, the final value of row, which is also 3, and the final value of call, which is 2. Okay. Let's try to check now the output the, of our uh, program okay for example if the input is 2 once we press the enter key here's the output now let's check with our um, tracing so we have 111 correct 212 221 322 8 and 332 okay so that's how we solve, that's how we trace the nested while with if, elif, with else, with break, and continue statements. So just comment down below if you also uh, get the same um, result. And that's all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.